Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creator tutorial. Sorry this took a while, I've just been really busy the past week getting tax stuff together and all those, all those just stuff that kind of took precedent. Um, so someone did ask how to do something specific in a tutorial they found where it was basically painting with a mask in Photoshop. And it is definitely doable within Krita. So what you want to do first is make your drawing, your art, whatever, and bring in your image that you want to use as um, the texture. I'm just going to bring in my cat because I like this fur texture here and that way I don't have to sift through hundreds of images to find the perfect um, nature image, you know, or for rocks or whatever. But the same principle applies, doesn't matter what it is you're doing. You can use it for cloth, like here. Oops. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click, and you're going to hit add, and you're going to add transparency mask. So let me just trash that, and I'll redo it. Add transparency. And that's going to come up here. So nothing's really going to happen to your reference image layer, or your, like a, your texture layer, I guess. So what you gotta do is you got to kind of make it disappear. Now a transparency mask is basically you're masking something off, you're not deleting it, it's non-destructive editing. So go to your paint bucket tool here, make sure it's on black, and make sure you're on the transparency layer, or filter, and just fill it in. So now it's gone. It's out of view. So a couple, many videos ago, I think I went over this, is black means it's not visible and white means it is. So if we want to add a fur texture here, we go to our brush, you know, I went and I selected this texture here for my brush tip. You can use whatever you want, um, it doesn't really matter, it's just personal preference. And you can go ahead and change the opacity. You want the opacity to be lower because if it's just 100% it's not really giving you what you want, right? Actually, I'm going to move this over a little. Okay. You kind of want it to be subtle and built up. So now I'm going to just kind of build up some of this texture. And as you can see, as I'm painting the white, more of that fur texture comes through. And then what we can do is lower that opacity, kind of do this, and we can add their bit down. Gonna paint with that color and I'm just gonna start blending that together. Not perfect, but actually move this. No. So because this image is bigger than the canvas, it didn't mask out anything beyond the canvas, which isn't a big deal to me. Um, it's still not how I want it to be. Form. There we go, it looks a lot better to me. Let's do that. And then I can just go back to my transparency mask and just paint that out with the black. And then go back to white, turn this back down. And you can always go back and adjust the original, um, what do you call it, texture that you have. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I can go back here and just keep painting what I want. And probably, oops, move this down a little bit more. This would even be really nice for feathers, because then um, get some of 
the texture in there, like how the, what do you call it? Uh, the feather, the tips tend to be different colors, or they change in the texture and the color. There we go, that's what I want. So now, go back here. Okay. Just gonna blend this in a little bit here. I'm just eye dropping the color. As you can see, I'm gonna blend it in a little. And I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to get rid of everything outside of this part here. You can kind of see that it has that texture still, it's not super heavy. And then you can build up on that too. So let's say I wanted a different part of the fur added. I can just duplicate that whole thing and then start all over again with that painting of the mask. Erase this here. There we go. So I really like this texture here. It adds a little bit more to it. And I think I might add some more around the head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse that. As you can see what I'm doing without me uh, <laughs> making this video like three hours long. A lot of this is just getting a feel for it. Like if it's not gonna be perfect the first time, play with the, the texture a little bit, the br different brushes you can use. Okay, so obviously you get the gist of how to use that. It's not perfect, but you can see how quickly you can add some texture and some concept to your uh, art. It's definitely a little harder with fur because it fur goes in specific directions. Um, but when you use this for anything else, like if I want to use it for the cloth, like I just have this. Ooh, here's some cloth. Oh. Right up on the wrong brush. I mean, you can see that it'll add that texture, right? And that might be much, be a bit much, so we can go erase that. Opacity like that. I think because this is black, it's not gonna go well. But you, if you use um, any textured cloth, you can just add that in there instead of um, trying to manually put the texture in there, kind of like a like a burlap texture, you know. Um, but yeah, that's how to paint with a mask in Krita. It's really simple. Um, it is a lot of work though, like you're not gonna, don't expect like perfect re results the first time because you're still limited to the original uh, texture image. So if the texture image has specific lighting that doesn't match with what you're doing, you either have to find a way to get around that, change the lighting in your image, or um, uh, find a different image to use altogether. So just keep that in mind, you're going to have a lot to... To edit in the long run, you can't just 
throw a texture in there and say, oh, it works perfectly. You know, the only reason that this worked out for me is because I knew that looking at this image, I could see the fur tufts or the fur clumps or whatever it had a good texture here. If it was perfectly flat and smooth and the lighting wasn't good, I wouldn't be able to use it. So if you're going to take your own reference images, that would probably be easier than relying on internet searches um, if you need rock. Uh, textures, just go out and take pictures of concrete. That will definitely help, especially for concept art um, and photo bashing. You're just getting like the feel and the mood and stuff across. You're not making like a complete masterpiece. You know, it's just the concept and getting it there. So, yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Um, Hopefully it made sense. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below. I'm open to other video suggestions, or if you have questions about how to do something else in Krita, I will do my best to make a video and show you how to do that within Krita. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.